everybody, my name is Trentonian. Welcome back to Subnautica. So, it's been a few days since I've recorded. I've been having a lot of problems with my Elgato card and my software, and I ultimately ended up just deciding to reinstall everything on my computer, and it seems to be working now. But I've been wanting to play this for a while, and I've been having issues with the sound cutting out, and I got it working now, so I figured it'd be kind of cool to just hop in, build a base. I do have the no oxygen on, so it makes it easier. I also do have the no cost on, but that is because I lost my save file when I did that. I had a whole bunch of uh, stuff that I had gathered. I had like four things, four containers full of titanium and a whole bunch of stuff. But I'm going to go ahead and build my base like right around here. Uh, it's right near the blood grass. It's right near the kelp forest, right near the mushroom forest. So it's a kind of a good place. I was going to build it down below like in the rocks, but it ended up not working just because like some weird glitch with bubbles showing up in in my uh, in my base so yeah we're going ahead and start right here I'm gonna go and place like a foundation I'm actually gonna place two foundation one is gonna be where my base starts the other one is gonna be for solar panels so this one's gonna go right here and I'll build like four or five solar panels on it So E3 has been going on this week, and um, I'm really excited. I watched the, I think it was the Xbox conference, the Ubisoft conference, and the Bethesda conference, and saw some really cool things. One of the games I'm most excited for right now I, is called Recourse. Looks like it kind of takes place in a, in kind of like a post-apocalyptic kind of desert wasteland type of world, and the main character has uh, robots that help her out. Like there's a, a little cool little dog robot. There's like an ape-like robot and a spider robot and a few others. And it seems like the enemies are mainly other robots as well, so the game looks really cool. I think it comes out in September, and I'm really excited about it. The game looks really awesome, and I saw a few little, like, gameplay snippets of it, and the graphics look pretty cool. This like, the art style looks pretty cool. I'm really excited for it. Another thing I'm pretty excited for is, uh, they have, a, there's something they're releasing, it's called, like, SharePlay or something along those lines, and the idea behind it is that if you own a game digitally for Xbox or Windows 10, or if you buy a game for Xbox or Windows 10 digitally, you own the game for the other system. So if I were to buy um, Sea of Thieves for the Xbox One digitally, I'd also own it for PC. I think that's one of the games that will have uh, this cross-platform thingy, do them hickey, whatever you want to call it. And another thing that they're implementing with said, uh, with said uh, share play will be a cross-platform compatibility so if I were to buy it for Xbox one and my brother were to buy it for play or for uh, Windows 10 then we could actually play together which I think is really cool like he could be playing on on Windows and I'd be playing on uh, Xbox and we could be in the, the same game playing together and Sea of Thieves is another game I'm really excited for it's kind of like a open world pirate adventure that you play with other people and you can like uh, pilot a ship you can you can get into big old pirate battles the game looks really sweet I really hope this doesn't freaking glitch out on me. Another game that looks really cool is called Prey. It's I think it's like a reboot of an old game. And you should be supplying power to the base. Well, never mind. It's nice, so there isn't going to be any power yet. I forgot. Probably a good thing I turned on the uh, no oxygen. And then we're going to build the moon pool onto it. Probably isn't the best base in the world, but... I'm not really good at building bases in this game, so... It'll work for now. Well, it's kind of supported. Ever so slightly. Please tell me that you're gonna connect when... Yay. When all done. Yeah, it has like one support. <laughs> Whatever, it works. What I'm thinking is, this is gonna be kind of like a resource area. This is gonna be kind of like the prep area for like all my equipment. And then this is gonna be the moon pool. Because, well, it's a moon pool. Cook Reginald. <laughs> this is so cheating, but I just want to get this done. Vital what are you talking about, lady? You crazy. I'm not starving. We have kind of our prep area. We're going to need some, some items in here. A few things we're going to need. We're going to need a battery charger. That's going to go right against the wall right here. The power cell charge is going to go next to it. Then we're going to build our modification station. Um, I want you there. 
Yeah, I, I don't think you'll get in the way. So we can just run up here and we can do something like, ooh, I can get a lithium ion battery. I had no idea. That's so cool. Double the energy. I had no idea they added that. That is actually really cool. Survival knife, I can get my high capacity air tank because I had one before. I think having a few wall walkers would be good for like my equipment. Not a modification station. Just silly goober. I feel like two lockers would be good enough for all the equipment I'm going to have. Water filtration machine for all my water filtration needs. There. So now we have access to soon food, water, and medkits. And then I'll go on ahead and build a few wall lockers against the wall here. I feel like that will be a pretty good... Uh, have a few of these for like my different like resources I find. No, I didn't want to open you up. Again, this base is more or less a work in progress. I'm kind of just going with it as I go. Ooh, another game I'm really excited for is Scalebound. It's uh, basically like you, you, you play, your character works together with like a companion dragon, like this huge dragon to fight giant beasts in the game and, and has a multiplayer aspect to it too or a cooperative aspect to it. The game looks really cool. I'm really excited for it. Might just finish and then do like a quick overview of what I did. What I did is it. Okay, let's try building it on now. Okay, yeah, so you have to have a corridor for you to be able to build a bulkhead. A bulkhead door. Yeah, so this will be the captain's quarters. And one of the other things they added to the game was a bed. So when I get the bed, I can put like the bed here, have maybe some, some fish tanks, just kind of like uh, something hanging up here, you know, kind of make it look nice. But for now, this is more or less done because I don't have anything else to uh, to put in here. Okay, so I think I have everything built up exactly how I want it. So I'm going to go on ahead and just show you what I made. So here we got kind of just two windows, nice little entrance area. When I get some benches, I'll put them like right here. Got some reinforcements just so the place doesn't, you know, the hole doesn't, the integrity of the hole doesn't, you know, go away and it doesn't flood. Then back here, we got kind of just like a main area, which connects to the bioreactor room. The plan is to get some planter pots, or some grow beds, maybe add another thing on back here. And uh, I'll have something to, to throw in the bioreactor if I ever want to throw something in there. Because it has some room, you know, I can throw like, uh, I can just fill it up if I really want to. Over here, we have the fish tank. I'm planning on filling it up with Reginalds, so I have a food source. And now this is kind of like our resource room slash wing. We got... Water filtration machine. We have medkit fabricator. We have some lockers. All kind of good. Then in here is kind of like our exploration preparatory room. We have battery charger, power cell charger. We have a modification station. We have fabricator, a few lockers for equipment. All pretty good. And then over here we have what will be our room when I get some stuff like a when I get some stuff like a bed and some stuff to put in there. And then over here we have our little Seamoth moon pool room. Well, it's all pretty good. I need to find some Reginalds, and I'm actually gonna make something which I had before. And it's a really cool little device, and it makes it really easy to catch fish. But it's called a propulsion cannon. It basically allows you to grab stuff from far away. So we're gonna go get some, uh, go get some peepers, and we're gonna call it an, or not some peepers. We're gonna get some Reginalds, and we're gonna call it an episode. Yeah, Reginald. I should be able to find some over in this direction in the bloodgrass area. Reginald, oh Reginald, oh where are you? So many fighters, go fuck you. Found one! No! No! Reginald, come here! Haha! -ha. See, it makes catching fish so e so easy, it's great. Because you use the, the right click to suck them in, and then you can either fire them with the right click, or you can use the left click to put them in your inventory. Bonk. Reginald. Reginald. Wow, you can really grab them from far away. This thing is like the best fish catching tool ever. Peepers will never get away now. This item is great for catching Reginald and other stuff. But this, 
I love this gun even more because it can do this. Bam! It's like if you're getting attacked by like a sand shark or a biter, you can just blast them away. See, they just straight up disappear into disappear into oblivion. Now, I believe my base was um, somewhere in this direction. I know it's like right near the mushroom field, so if I find that, I'll be good to go. I should have placed down the beacon. That should have been the first thing I did. There we go. Now we got some. Now we got a food source. Well, everybody, this has been Subnautica. I'm going to go on ahead and leave this episode here. I have no idea whether this is going to be a long episode or a short episode. I think I'll just cut it up to do, like, a lot of where I'm talking and then kind of throw that little showcase at the end where I showed it. But thank you, everybody, so much for watching. If you liked this video, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, leave a comment down below. See you all in the next video. Bye, everybody.